Um, I, I just, I'm real proud of the kids' effort. I thought we really came out, and you know, obviously we, we shot the ball extremely well in the first half. Um, thanks to Kevin Cowher, and, and you know, he really, I just thought we did a great job of attacking them offensively uh, in the first half. Our defensive game plan really played to our favor too as well. So, you know, for the for the most part, we, we defended very well. We got them to shoot the shots we wanted them to shoot. We rebounded them all well, which really led to a lot of transition masses for us. Kevin did a great job of just attacking the rim, especially in his transition, and, and just kind of took what they gave him, you know, and uh, I thought we really mixed it up offensively at times there uh, with what we were trying to do, and, and, uh, and maybe cause some confusion on their part defensively, and we, just, and we were patient offensively. We didn't rush our shots. We kind of took what they gave us, and, when they, and the minute they broke down, we really capitalized on it, you know, in the first half, and just, we hit shots. We had a lot of different guys hit shots. Uh, and I think Kevin had 17 in the first half. Obviously, he hit shots too, but he got a lot of his just transition and, and getting the rim and made some tough finishes for us and stuff there. Well, can you talk a little bit when they cut it to four uh, in the second half? Uh, do you guys, what did you guys talk about, or talk about how your team reacted to that situation? You know, we've been in this situation a lot this year. Our conference test, you know, the, the, the Iowa Athletic Conference really challenged you. We have a great conference. Um, we, we, we've been in this situation multiple times this year. We had a double-digit lead, get cut down to four. Our guys just, it, it, all year, they've they shown a lot of confidence in each other. Um, they hung in there. I thought, you know, we had, we had a, a timeout there. We cut it to four. We came out, I think, I'm not sure, was it a 10-0 run, 12-0 run that we had off that timeout? But we really executed. We, we, we took advantage of things we, we thought we could get in the bass and then and then we rebound them all. Uh, say, you know, you gotta give Sam off a lot of credit. We knew they were making a run. Okay. Every great team does, and they're a really good team. And and uh, they made a great run. They were getting some offense rebounds in that stretch. We really we really pushed our guys hard. Guards needed to help us out in those, on those rebounds. And I think from that point on, we really shored up the defensive glass. They were getting so many second and third opportunities that. You know, we had to take care of that, and we, I thought we shored that up, and then I just thought we did some things offensively. We had some sets that really trying to highlight our different guys, that kind of stuff, their strengths, and we, uh, we executed and, and got in the foul line. We really, you know, what were we from the foul line, 22 or 30, shooting 73%. You know, I, we got in the foul line a lot, and that was very critical for us, and, and we took advantage of that, and we just built that lead right back up. We got to give our guys a lot of credit and show all, show all kinds of resiliency tonight. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what you guys uh, kind of did? Uh, I thought you guys hit the offensive glass really hard too, uh, which really helped you guys when they were making a run. Uh, kind of give yourself some multiple possessions on the trips down the court. Can you just talk a little bit about, is that something that's been a strength for you guys all year? Or? That's always been like an emphasis the whole year was to crash the boards. We knew if we needed to win games, we needed to be good on the boards. And that was one of the things we needed to do this game. And uh, the bigs just came out big and got a bunch of boards. So, <coughs> what was working for you that first half? Seventeen you put up. Uh, um, I was just in rhythm. They were able to give me the ball in some some good places, and I was able to step in some shots. And, um, it just felt good, and it came out the hand good. And they were going in. And I was also able to get some transition as well, which was great. And when when you can get layups, <coughs> it just opens your whole game up. So. You guys looking forward to getting uh, the challenge of possibly facing the number one team in, in the country tomorrow, or are you gotta think about that? Well, you know, we gotta watch this next game, and, and, and obviously I think both ball clubs, both Marion and Stevens Point are very good, and that kind of stuff there. So, you know, we're, we're just excited. You know, you got a chance to move on uh, in Division Three NCAA tournament. You gotta be excited about that. And, uh, and I think it's our, it's our first, first round win in uh, quite some time. Um, probably 30 years in the Jacob mm -hmm. and stuff there. So, uh, um, our, you know, we're just excited to play whoever next, you know, and, and, and obviously Stevens Point's a very talented ball club and, and they get great support from their home crowd. So, um, you know, the environment's awesome and, and Stevens Point's done a great job of creating a great environment here and, and they've, they've ran a really good tournament so far and it's been first class and stuff there. So, uh, but, you know, you, you know, you worry about the next one. We don't know what it's going to be yet. And, and uh, uh, Marion can shoot the ball and score the ball. They have a lot of multiple guys that can score the ball. So uh, we just got to prepare for either team, and, and it's going to be, uh, you know, we, we got ourselves where we need to be at. Now we just, you know, we'll worry about who that is and after this next ball club ball, uh, ball game.
think that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Congratulations.